Well, hello there, everyone, and happy Tuesday, and welcome to a video that I'm quite excited about. So today, we have a good old-fashioned blast, a family bins bash. I'm so excited, and everybody's coming today, so it's gonna be moi, it's gonna be Ryan, it's gonna be Evan, and it's gonna be Debbie. As per usual, unsurprisingly, I am first. There's the Goodwill sign out my back window. Ryan is nearby. He actually had something else to do this morning near his school, which like is pretty close to here. So he should be here quite soon. Debbie and Evan have not given me any time update. And I think they're probably both still asleep because she just landed from Texas late last night at like 10 or 10.30. So she's probably sleeping in a little, which is fine. Ryan and I will just spend kind of a long day at the bins, but they are coming at some point. I will get them on footage. We will see some card updates from them. We'll shop around with them. They haven't been here since the last time you guys saw. Anytime they come, I film. Every time that you guys have seen them are the only times that they've come. So they haven't been here in a while. So I'm pretty excited for that. I always love doing the family bin shopping. It's fun to like find stuff for Debbie, find stuff for Evan and have us all just kind of like help each other and just spend time together. It's literally a family bins bash. Like it's a bash, it's fun. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get first dibs and first grabs at everything and we'll see who shows up next. And I'm gonna hand it over to Ryan for his intro now. Hi everybody, how are we? I ran some errands this morning. I got some very exciting things done. I'm at the bins. I'm at my favorite place on planet earth. I definitely 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 need to be like the finest of fine tooth combs today i have so much stuff right now for the poshmark and the inventory so i'm really going to try and be really selective with a lot of the stuff that i am deciding to keep for myself to put on the internet but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna get anything. I definitely am now like, oh my gosh, I can go like consignment store shopping. So I need to like keep an eye out for stuff to take to like Plato's Closet, so Encore, Clothes Mentor, Turnstile we always frequent. So I'm very, very, very like a little bit more consignment than I am stuff for myself to sell. But if we are talking for things to my, <laughs> things to my, things for myself to sell, I would love kind of like, I don't remember if it was the last one or the one that we did before that, the bins thrift with us. I love my dictation this morning. Seasonal appropriate garments. I am looking for shorts. I'm looking for little girly Y2K tank tops. I am looking for swimsuits. I'm looking for cute sandals. I'm looking for cute little summer dresses and things. I love this season. And I love that this is the point of the year where everybody's like, oh my gosh, my stuff from last year, like get rid of it. And then I come in and I take all of it. So let's see what we have. Jack is already in here. I am hoping, fingers crossed, that he has found a couple of little gems for me. Let's get in and see what we find. The first thing I grab is a sweater or sweatshirt to hold my drink up if I bring one in. I had two questions for the Magic 8 Ball. Will I have a good bins trip? Cannot predict now. Okay. Will Debbie and Evan have a good bins trip? Better not tell you now. Does this thing have any answers to any questions? <laughs> My first find for the day was this baby Bowden sweater. It did possibly have some discoloration around the neck and it might have been a little pilly, but you know what? It's cute. This is about 20 minutes in and I only added one or two things to my pile. I do have a few things for Debbie and Ryan. Otherwise, I haven't found too much for myself to sell. Well, in that bin that I was just standing by, I did find this Rails Heart t-shirt. These don't go for a ton, but they still do quite well and a lot of times they're anthro. This is just a no-name, no-brand scarf, but it has little multicolor martinis on it. It is so cute, and it matches my new coach sweater that I wore the other day perfectly, so I have to get it. Shoe rotation underway. In the shoe rotation, I found this really cute pair of aerosols. This is not... Oh, and there was a penny in this one. I will take that. But I found this really cute pair of aerosols that I'm gonna bring to the consignment store because they're like new. I found this fossil bag that I actually think I'm gonna give Debbie. At first I was gonna keep it for myself and then I was like, meh, I'll just give it to Debbie. I also found this pair of Eileen Fisher sandals. I gave these to a friend at the bins because she brings Eileen Fisher a lot of times back to Eileen and you get store credit for it, so she took those. 
And then I found this single Dansko clog boot. This actually would have been super good if I found the other one. I don't really like Danskos that much anymore, but that pair would have been really cute, but I never found the other. Well, looky here what the French Bulldog dragged in. I had a few things to give Ryan, including this little Scotty dog quilted bag. He was saying he wished it barked and that kind of would be funny. I also found this Sundance lacy cute intimate tank top. I'm hoping this does well. I've never really had an intimate style Sundance, but the tag is newer. Okay, everybody, and hello. First up for me, we have this really adorable little Dolls Kill tank top. This is from a new rotation that I'm going to sell myself, this pair of American Eagle jeans. I'm. And up next is this really adorable little Tommy Hilfiger dress. I really love this material. It's so soft, it's so lightweight, it's so perfect for the summer. I think this is gonna do really good on Poshmark or Depop, which is great. And I really appreciate this little attention to detail in the neck thing where they have the Tommy Hilfiger colors. I think that's really cute. This is going to go to the consignment store. They thankfully take sweaters and stuff all year round. It's just to hurry, but they can store them if they're in really good condition. And this was like next to new. And I just think it's cute. And coming out of that same rotation, I really don't know too much about this dress, but it seemed really beautiful. The brand is Vivian Tam. It's a size three. I don't know what that means. It's this stunningly beautiful little, I think these are daisies, dress, and they have these little eyelets in the middle of them. It's so cute. And the hem is really adorable. I don't know anything about this, but I definitely am going to do my research because it seems like something nice. This next piece is an Eileen Fisher piece. I did end up giving this to somebody else to take to the Eileen Fisher store. They were just, I've few too many stains on this, but it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blazer. And this next bag was given to me by one of my lovely, lovely, lovely Bins friends. It is this new Tags Tommy Hilfiger, really amazing little faux croc top handle bag. This is very girly. This is very Y2K. I also have some stuff kind of folded, tucked down into my cart. I have some really cute little Lululemon leggings, a cider dress. A lot of this stuff is stuff to take to Plato's Closet. Little Brandy Melville top that actually had a stain on it, unfortunately. This is adorable. It's this really amazing little Y2K butterfly mesh crop top. And this was kind of the find of the rotation. There was a Harley jacket that was kind of poking out from under the sheets that our bins get rolled out in that somebody snatched, and then they forgot to grab this one. This beautiful kind of like darker denim, very Y2K studded. Harley Davidson, I think it's the 105th anniversary if I remember correctly, beautiful denim jacket. And I did get a lot of really good things to take to the consignment stores in this rotation as well. This is a really beautiful American Eagle, a size extra large dress. This felt really substantial. I really didn't think this was going to be American Eagle when I picked it up, but it is absolutely adorable. That is 100% going to Plato's Closet. It's a pair of Gymshark leggings. I like the Gymshark stuff, but unfortunately it just really doesn't do that good for me. So those are going to Plato's as well. This is a little pink Victoria's Secret bodysuit once I can wiggle the tag out. Goodwill wanted five bucks for it, but I am very happy to pick it up at the bins. I was so stoked to find this. It is this beautiful, amazing, kind of like darker lavender purple. Salt Lake City 2000 Winter Olympics, little vest. It still has all these really amazing like Y2K detailing on them. The brand and then the silver rings on the back. This is a cool find. And these definitely might be my absolute favorite thing that I found this entire trip. It is this amazing, amazing, amazing pair of the most vibrant coral red pants you have ever seen. They are these amazing, still very colorful, thankfully, elephant bell-bottom pants. I'm so excited to list these. And finally, a shoe rotation. I found this really adorable little pair of Bowden black suede shoes. These look kind of dirty, but they just need a little tidy up. They're just kind of dirty from the bins. They still have the plastic wrap on the bottom, which is going to be amazing for when I go to list these. These I got purely based off of color. This silver kind of metallic shimmery style is really popular for the spring. They're just by Public Desire, which is a Dolls Kill brand, but they'll just be a quick little flip. I found one Nike that I never actually ended up finding the other one to, which is really sad. I lost a coin toss with this one and somebody ended up getting the other one, but that's okay. I did end up finding the other one of those Allbirds and I gave it to Debbie and then I found the other one of these Toms and gave them to Debbie as well. This was an adorable dance go that I unfortunately did not find the match for. I was absolutely obsessed with this dress. I know it's gonna be a bit of a project. I know there's some stains, but it's stunning. All of these little like ribbon details are hand done. It's the most beautifully handmade piece I've ever seen. I love it so much. And I'm definitely going to put in the time and the effort to restore this the best I can.
this is one of the reasons why I love the bins. Somebody threw these little shoes back, and I was like, oh, these are cute, and they're a pair. Let's peek and see what they are. There's a little bit of wear on some of the wooden aspects, but like that's not that big of a deal, and they are free people. These are so good for the season. What was I saying in the car of like season appropriate garments? These are wonderful. I love these. Then, funny enough, I am actually wearing this shirt as I am recording this. I washed it and dried it and it is so comfortable and so soft. I needed to do a Minnesota t-shirt and this one definitely fills the space. Clothing rotation time. What lies under the sheets? The answer is a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna have to sort through this and then show you guys. I found some spooky stuff for me. I found some consignment, some garage sale, some real real, some stuff for me to sell, like this spooky tank top. I found some other consignment store stuff, some stuff for Debbie, lots of stuff. So let's kind of go through this. I found this American Eagle dress. It's actually a slightly older label, but how stinking cute is this dress? It might be a romper now that I look at it. I'm actually gonna try to sell this myself. It's just so pretty and I love the style and I love the print. This is a Hot Topic skirt, classic Hot Topic plaid, gothic punk. This will do great on Depop and on Mercari and on Posh. These are a pair of Tommy Girl shorts, but it's weird because the tag says Encore. I gotta do more researching on this, but jorts are so in right now and it's the perfect season, so I'm going to sell those myself. Speaking of jorts, I found these white Levi's 501s. You can't really tell in the video, but they have a lot of discoloration, so I'm actually gonna tie-dye these. I don't know what color yet. I think kind of like a black and white would be cool, or also maybe like a blue and white. I don't really know. Next up, we have this throwover, probably swim cover shawl. The tag, the tag is cut out, but there's still the fabric content tag, and I can tell that this is a free people one. It possibly could be Urban Outfitters otherwise, but I am gonna just look it up later and figure out what it is. Either way, I would get it. A very nice woman walked up and offered me this. It's a Banana Republic New with Tag sweater duster. It's extra, extra small petite, which is quite unfortunate, but it's New with Tag for $110. It seems kind of oversized, so hopefully it'll sell. It's really nice. Next up, look at this lady. This is the cutest sweater, and it's by a brand I literally never sell. Not Mod Cloth, not J. Crew, not Madewell, Talbots. And I am totally gonna sell this myself. It's so cute and it's a thin enough sweater to fit into an inventory spot, which is exactly what I like. Another shoe rotation went down and here's what I found. Not too much, but some good finds. So this is an Opal House towel. I'm gonna get to, wipe, to wipe some puppy paws. This is a pair of Sorrel's that I just need to leather condition. I feel like I've been having really good luck finding Sorrel's lately, which is great because I love to sell them. This is a single Gola that I'm going to give to Evan once he gets here because he loves to look for matches. This is a pair of Kate Spade boots and I actually did find both. They're suede, buckle strappy, they're really nice. I also had some other singles that I'm going to give to Evan once he gets here and if he finds the match, he can have them. This Dolce Vita, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna look for the match myself because I just think it's so cute. This is a Saludo and he can have this if he finds the match, it's new. This is actually a Rothy, which I would love for Evan to have his first pair of Rothys. You may like Crocs, but do you like Crocs enough to wear a Crocs hoodie? All right, well, four days, seven hours, and 37 minutes later, Debbie and Evan finally <laughs> stumbled in. I found this vintage bleeding scream mask, and I know some of those are worth money, so I gave it a Google, but I don't think that one was. I had to throw it back. I also found this vintage 70s hair dryer. We already have one in one of our bathrooms as decor, so I guess we're gonna have a collection now. My beer belly. Yes. I honestly don't know why somebody didn't snatch this. It's this really cute LaCroix 
needlepoint little wall hanging. I absolutely love this. The edge just kind of needs to be trimmed up, but no big deal. I bought this for my classroom. It's one of those really fun, really kind of hard to do, like multi-level like ball puzzles. Kids absolutely love these. If you are a teacher, one, happy teacher appreciation week, and two, I would highly recommend these. I love them. I was actually so giddy when I found these. This is the same row from earlier that they changed out again, and it was this pair of black, very neat of a lint roll, and maybe a deep hill little pair of wild fox wide leg sweatpants. These are the OG ones. That is the older label with the older interior tag. I was so, so, so stoked to find these. And from that same rotation, I found this wonderful, beautiful little pink pom-pom cashmere hat. These are actual fox fur. I just grabbed it because I thought it was cute, then I felt it and it felt wonderful. It is by Regina. I've never heard of this brand, but it has all the real correct like fur interior tags and all these are their kind of like little booklety tags. Somebody has one of those listed on eBay for 130. These adorable little hokas are for me. I absolutely love these. I think they are so cute. I'm gonna give them a nice wash. I have insoles for them already. I sadly only ever found one of this really adorable floral rifle paper company kit. And these are really often sold at Anthro too. These are definitely a very big kind of bread and butter holy grail for me. They are just these vintage, very Y2K, Lucky brand, little thermal tops. People go crazy for these. I sell them like hotcakes and I am super excited to find them in the bins. In the same switch out, I found this really adorable little, what I thought was going to be a felt bag. Those do super good on Depop. I love to sell those to the girlies. And then I found some really amazing Christmas wrapping paper, which is gonna be perfect because now I don't need to buy any. After another rotation, I found a pair of Joe's jeans that when I was filming this, I noticed had a huge split in the crotch, so I threw them back. I found another pair of Joe's jeans. These I'm gonna give to Debbie in case she wants to sell them, or else I would have got them to consign. No split in those ones. I found this really cute vintage sweater vest from some random high school I do not know, but it's so cute. I think it'll do good on Depop and Posh. This is an UMG leopard piece that I'm going to consign. The tag was in here somewhere, but I could never find it. This is a loft dress that I'm going to consign. I love to consign loft. Got a new tag gap. That's for consigning too. Now I'm just creeping on Evan's cart. So he has this pair of dance go clogs he's looking for. He has a vintage cat toaster cover. And then this brand that I'd actually never heard of. I still haven't looked it up. It's called Isle Jacobson or something. He had actually quite a bit of shoes this time. He's been trying to dabble in shoes and bags. Still not really clothing, but I think baby steps is the perfect way to get there. This Oshkosh hat was so cute, but I don't think it was one of the hundreds and hundreds of dollars rare pieces. <laughs> I picked up this wrapping paper for Debbie to use. It is pugs and Boston Terriers and all kinds of dogs we like, and it's Christmas wrapping paper. What are you looking for? Bagley and, well, I don't know. That's a hunter food. Coat shoe. I put this, this dune in this, here if you wanted it. Yeah, this this is Timberland, this big boot. That would be nice look at. Right after Debbie showed me all the things she was looking for, I found the matching hunter boot right away. <laughs> Another pretty decent clothing rotation happened, so here's what I found. This is a pair of Lily Pulitzer pants. They are pure black, which is really odd for her. They have the year in it, 2013, so I will probably consign these. They're just a little too old and a little too plain for Lily Pulitzer, so that's consignment. I also found this to consign. It's a Blank NYC jacket. I just do not like selling Blank NYC, whether it be jeans or jackets or clothing, so the consignment stores kind of eat it up. This is something I needed to Google, and upon Googling, it doesn't seem to be worth anything. It was called Intrigue. I just thought that the European sizing meant it could be something good, but twas not. This is a really good find. It is a Vori hoodie 
Vori is a very expensive bolo athletic brand. I was really excited to find that. Then we have a random Nua tag piece that's for the consignment store. It's like possibly a maternity legging or it's like a corset legging, not really sure, but if it's Nua tag, I will bring it to them. This is a really cute loft to consign. It's kind of like a rose print. It's also an XL, so I know they'll take that. We have a pair of skeleton pajamas, but I already have two pairs, so I had to throw them back. This is a pair of packs on shorts. They were actually size 23, so I threw them back. Otherwise, I would have got them for Play-Dohs. We have another cute floral blouse. This one is actually Banana Republic, and this is an XL2, so I know they'll take that as well. We have another Banana Republic floral spring piece, and this is actually an older label, but I'm not too worried that they'll take it, so I'm gonna bring it to consign. This was just a cute little tablecloth of some kind, but it was really dirty, so I threw it back. This is by the brand Socialite, which is probably just TJ's, but it was cute enough for me to put in my consign pile and super light. We have this pair of J. Crew jeans that I will bring to them. They are 30 tall, which is a great size, but they're skinny, so I don't really want to sell them myself. I looked at the date and they are from 2018. Maybe if they were 2021 plus, I would have sold them myself. Debbie was last minute messing around in the board games even though the employees were trying to switch this row, which we are gonna stay for one more knickknack rotation and then I think we are all headed out. Here they come, clickety-clack, down the track. It's lots and lots of bins. Fitting that the last thing I found for the day was another weirdly branded hoodie. This was a Gushers hoodie. Who makes Gushers hoodies? I love Gushers, but who makes a Gusher hoodie? Okay, everybody, I just ended my lovely little time at the bins. I was about to drive away because I thought that people needed this parking spot anyway. Um, I had a really good time. I spent $72 on the money. It was like $71.90 and I rounded up just to make life a little bit easier. I got a lot of stuff to take to the consignment store. I got a few little gems for myself to put on the internet. I got some good little gifty things. I got some other little secrets that I'm not going to divulge because I know my friends and family watch these and I don't want to give away any potential gifts maybe. Um, either way, I had a really wonderful time. I feel very like good about the things that I found. And I think when I talked about it before I got here, like when we were, we did our little pre-shop check-in, um, I did, I think, stick to my, like be really, really, really picky with stuff to sell for myself. I still got a ton, but what I am allowing myself to sell versus what I am taking the consignment store, I think is like where I wanted it to be, which is nice. I think everybody else later this afternoon is coming back over by our place, by Jack and I's house to come see Will, say hi to the puppy. Jack's brother absolutely loves him, which I think is adorable. Debbie as well is just like puppy crazy. So they'll come over, have a little lunch, and we will just kind of like have a good time. We'll talk about the wonderful things that we found. All right, so we're home now. <laughs> and I had to bring over my sous vide for my grand, grand puppies. Pups. Yes. Um, little Bucky Beaver. As Will's doing the splits. Dog toy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smells of just fine, fine quality. It's just like a coach purse. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Was it a successful bins trip? Well, I spent about $80. Got a few pair of shoes, purses, bigger bag of clothes. I seem to find a lot of stuff, a lot of knickknack well, as the guy called it. A lot of crap. I got a couple a things that say the beach is my happy place yes. and stuff. <laughs> but <laughs> I got Madewell, Hudson and Joe, is it Joe's? Yeah, just and Rag and all, Bone, right? And Rag and Bone, like all jeans that just kind of are very distressed and yeah. ripped. And but I'm, we're in good shape, like otherwise. Yes, right? and I'm hoping that they're still in style. So what kind of like mm. knickknacks? I know Evan got Care Bears. <laughs> yeah, I spent $70 flat. I got some coach purses and decent pair of shoes. Evan got some cute saludos. Leopard. You know, I found this sandal that says, 
Amazon Essentials. Yeah. I'm sure it's not expensive, no. but it's just like brand new, still has the tag on it. And they were real cute, like just slip in with the heel and stuff. Mm. So right before I left, I found the other one. So oh, nice. I did get those because remember when I got my Skechers? <laughs> the bow Skechers? Yeah. It's still a turd even if it has a bow. <laughs> well, I just sold those turds. <laughs> I thought they were very cute. Did you get anything for yourself? Um, Evan did actually, a bobblehead, a Timberwolves. Oh yeah, I got two throw pillows, not that I need them, but one's a Christmas, kind of longer one. And it says like, we woof you a Merry Christmas or oh. something. And then I got like a, you know, 17 by 17 inch one that has like the Eiffel Tower and stuff oh on it gosh. because when I was, 40 my friends we went to europe and i wanted to see the eiffel tower we were in paris all lit up and nobody would go out with me so i never got to see it so now we i always get all this eiffel tower stuff and i show them and i said i bring it up every single time well thank you for coming with us yeah it's it a was fun, fun family bin smash hopefully we can do one again soon it yeah. was very nice to hear from one of your viewers there you know i met a few of your viewers there yeah. And one of them just talked about how much they enjoyed watching the book. Yeah, he's of you. super nice. And he was very nice. Yes, anyone and, we meet is always super yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was yeah. just very, it's very nice to hear when your kids are guided on the right way and probably brought up. Yeah, Debbie up definitely with took the all right the credit. Parenting. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna pat yourself on the back. Of yes, so, yes. so thank you for going with us. Yeah, yeah. Zoom we'll on have to do it again. Will. Say goodbye, Will. Oh. Say goodbye. Bye, Will. Oh, so good, so good, so good. Bye, Grandpuppy. <laughs> Bye, Mike. Oh, say goodbye, Mike. Bye, Mike. <laughs>